the men are doing well. Um, at some point, it was all about Funke or Shanaike, um, but um, she couldn't impress at the, I think it's the Tokyo Open and then at the Commonwealth Games, which means it's about time Funke says goodbye and take a rest. The Cecilia Otwakan, um, what's the other ladies there? Edem of Young. Edem of Young that we know. In fact, the Ghanaians, they are the, the Ogundele sisters are also doing well. But women's tennis is still struggling. That we, it's something that we, we know we have to seriously work on. You, have, you know, the five players you've talked about, at top, they've been top players for the last 10, 15 years. Um, but there's the, the talent is there. But again, we have to look at the commitment and the kind of coaching we're giving them. Mm. Um, off Young, probably the most talented female player we've ever seen in this country. But there are various actually problems we've had with the women's team over the years. We're working on it. These girls still have the talent to go to Africa and win. Um, some of them will definitely be in the team for the African Championships next month. And, you know, based on that performance, we'll see. The African Championships is very important. Yeah. It's the qualifier. It starts, that's the beginning of the Olympic qualifying event for table tennis. So we have to be there in yeah. Sudan. And we're very hopeful these girls will do well. The Commonwealth Games, bad outing. Very bad outing mm. for the female mm. team. Okay. But they know and they, you know, they're committed to doing better. But a lot of young girls coming through. As you know, you followed the sport in the last six months. Yeah. Esther. Uriba Miche, 13 years old, yeah, good player. Gift, very, very gifted. Mm. We're working with her. She's off. Also Vivian. Vivian, the, you know, um, Ajoke Ojomu, the African Youth Games bronze medalist. Yeah. We, ha we have the talent. Mm. Now we have to start working with them. But it doesn't mean throwing out our old players. Funke is looking to a career in coaching now. She's, she's served this nation. Yeah. Five Olympics, um, fantastic career she's had playing abroad as well. So we're, 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 we know we have a lot of work to do with the female team, but, but we know we, we have the players. Mm. Uh, we just have to put in the work to get them to the African and world level. Mm. Totally agree with you. Uh, so that's it. Um, Waid and it's also the president of Nigeria Table Tennis Federation. And together we're looking at ways table tennis can go through uh, this sort of revival process that they are uh, that they're putting together so the sports can be admirable again in the country. I've told you that you can be part of the show by sending us your questions, comments, and suggestions on Twitter. It's channels underscore sports and on Facebook. This channel has been sports. We're talking table tennis. We'll go on this quick break now and I will let you see action from the Shanghai Masters. It's not table tennis, but it's long tennis and then they are somehow related. But Rafael Nadal struggling is out. Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray pass on. We'll talk about it when return. Stay. yet today but I, I um, my feeling today and my answer today honestly is I'm gonna do it after the World Tour Finals but you never know <laughs> if depends how the things improve so, but my my I, I want to do it at the end of the, of the year no no So that's it, Rafael Nadal um, speaking after crashing out of the Shanghai Masters. Um, he's not feeling so well, he needs to attend to his um, problem of appendicitis, but good thing is he honored the championship, but couldn't pass through uh, Feliciano Lopez. But well, Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray, and of course the big names, you know, they're still powering you know, on. Table Tennis gets our attention today on the program, and we have the privilege of um, keeping uh, the president of the Table Tennis um, Fed, the president of the Table Tennis Federation, Waid Eniton Oshodi, and together we'll be talking about the development of the sport in the country. Let's come back and then talk about an important part towards development, coaching. What are we doing for the coaches? Well, I think, you know, that has been the biggest problem of our sports. Um, since um, Babatunde Obisoya retired, we haven't had a coach of that stature. Um, and, and that is no fault of the coaches. We mm. haven't had enough, you know, training programs exposure. And that's what we're doing now, um, getting our coaches to attend big tournaments along with the players, yeah. working with international coaches. We brought in the ITTF's number one coach, um, Dejan Papic, instructor, came here, did a program for our young coaches. You know, so the head coach himself, is he, he's, he's, he accepts the fact that 
you know, that, that we need help. And he's been very cooperative, bringing in young coaches now. He's doing some work with the younger coaches. Those are mostly the older players who are looking to retire. So we're, we're on the right track with that. Um, we need to do a lot more, get these coaches, you know, more courses. But I think we're on the right track. Um, another year or two, we'll begin to see the benefits of all the work we're doing with the coaches. I still want to talk about talent discovery and um, good work Tosio Okenla is doing. If you play for your country, come back and then, you know, give to the society the way you can. And she organizes the Under-17 National Championship. Um, what are the other programs we have in place for talent discovery? You know, programs like what Toast, um, Tony has done, um, is doing with us, is, is fantastic. That's the, that's the future of the game. If, mm. you, if you get these players playing that early, then we have a chance to make them world stars. Yeah. We have a lot more programs. Like I said, we just completed the cadets, elite cadet camp, 20 of the best young players from all over the country. Um, we're empowering our coaches now. We'll be doing a lot more during the school holidays, um, youth programs, um, cadet programs coaching, bringing everybody to the National Training Center here in Lagos and seeing how we can help develop them quickly because mm. we need to bring these players on very quickly. So we're going to be having a lot of junior cadet tournaments next year. Um, our focus is on development um, and hopefully we'll soon see the benefits of that. The National League, it serves off today. What's different about it? Well, this for the first time, it's a proper club league. It's a team event. So it's not players playing for themselves, they're playing for their teams. Three, four players in each team, they have to play four players across to win the points. It's, it's hard work, five mm -hmm. matches a day, so you end up playing maybe 20, 30 games every day um, over a period of eight days. Um, so we, we, we'll see the best team coming through at the end of the day. It'll be a great test of um, skill and stamina. But um, I think for what we really hope to do is look to get eight to 10 players who will be challenging you know, the, the, the established stars for a position in the national team. We don't want anybody to feel that his position is safe in the national team. Mm. Um, this is a trial of sorts for the home base players mostly to, to, to give them a chance to get into the national team. So it's, it's going to be exciting. Of course, you know, we're thankful to the people who support our events. Prize money, our players like that. <laughs> they like that. And you can't blame them. A lot mm. of these players are young. They're helping out at home with money and all. So we're trying to make sure we get as much money into the game. Um, we're grateful. GoTV, channels, all the kind of support you guys give us, media. It's, it's, it's fantastic what mm. we're doing now. Okay, um, you still talk about the prize money because I'm sure a lot of table tennis players out there, uh, what's in it for us? Um, but why you talk about that? Also tell me, I spoke to a lot of table tennis players, particularly those ones that are not in Lagos. I said, Austin, the attention is just on Lagos. If it's not in Lagos, it's the Southwest. How can we take it to other parts of the country? You know, this, this is, has to do, there are members on the board who come from all the geopolitical zones and it behoves upon them to to tell us what they need to do in their zones um, you know the southeast zone is doing a fantastic job with young athletes you know you don't get to hear a lot of what happens outside Lagos yeah. and that, that, that that's sad but um, they've just completed the ABS state championships a lot of good young players they call themselves the Titans you know <laughs> we're, we're, we're really we're really keen to see players coming from outside Lagos we've got players here from from the north, from the east, and yeah. you know, um, south south stronghold of female table tennis yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, like you said, one of the most talented players. We, we don't get to see enough of her, Vivian. Yeah. You know, very fantastic player. And of course, you still have Ofiong and Otu coming yeah. from there. So you can't discountenance these areas. So it's a misnomer when people say everything is being done in Lagos. Lagos is the Secretariat of the Federation. We have the National Training Center here, which has been recently refurbished you know, by our sponsors. So we don't have a choice. We have to bring the best players to Lagos, the best equipment. We were, hope, we're hoping, of course, Calabar for the National Sports Festival gives yeah, us a chance exactly. to see players in that axis. Mm. Um, so it's, we're, we're working all over the nation. But you know, in terms of talent now, it's, you have to look seriously at Ekiti and um, on those states. Mm. They're doing a fantastic job bringing up young, young players. And so we, we, we have to focus where the talent is. We keep on trying to do events all over the country to bring out new players. But, you know, there's funding constraints as well. So we have to look at mm. the whole picture. Particularly back in the days, Kano used to do very well with producing talents in table tennis. But now, the well, north is quiet. We have, we have a good coach in Kano, Coach Mike. He's working hard. But yes, 
football, you see, football has subsumed a lot of sports. <laughs> a lot of the young kids want to make yeah. a lot of money quickly. <laughs> so we, we, we know, you know, everything you do, you, you, you're going up against football. Yeah. You're going up against athletics, big, big sports. Um, but what, what we've done is, like I said, is we, we look to the schools. Everybody can play football. You can play football and play table tennis. Mm -hmm. We know many stars that combine both. So we, we will seek to bring out the best of these young talents through our coaches. And it's the coaches that will do this work for us. That's why our coach development program is very, very critical. Mm, I agree with you. But uh, um, somebody is coming all the way from Kano. Another one is coming from Cross River State. They want to know, what am I getting back? You know, every time we do something, I mean, first things first is we're going to be you know, housing a lot of these athletes here in Lagos will we'll, we'll take care of the expense of yeah. that. So they re all we're saying is get yourselves to Lagos and we'll try our best to look after you. Okay. Um, but then, of course, then there's the prize money. We, um, it's going down to, I think, the team that comes eighth in the tournament. Ooh, there's prize cool. money going down that low. Um, I think we have a minimum total package of two and a half million as total prize money, okay. which in table tennis terms is... Um, is massive. If you remember that, you know, the Lagos International Open, yeah. the biggest tournament in Africa, the top prize money is still $5,000. So you see that it's, it's not a bad payday for these players. Yeah. Um, we, we hope to do more with sponsorship. Mm. Um, the support of the National Sports Commission is critical. Um, we're really grateful. The Director General has been very supportive. He's a table tennis man mm. himself, former chairman in Ondo State. Yeah. But there's still, we need a lot more. You know, I keep on saying my good friend who's just been elected um, chairman NFF, if I get 1% of what he gets, <laughs> <laughs> table tennis will be the biggest sport in Nigeria. Okay, I'll leave with that. Table tennis will someday be the biggest sport in Nigeria. That's coming from the president of um, the Federation, White and it's really good to have you on the program. Thank you very much, Still Always a pleasure. Uh, maybe we should, we should just start off... Um, the Veterans League or something. I'm going to come beat you. <laughs> okay, that's it. I've just also mentioned that um, table tennis has been added to the 2020 Paralympics. and uh, That's a good one. Let's quickly talk about the special athlete. That's a long time, 2020. What can we do to ensure that we have a special athlete here? Well, we, we're hoping to have um, a tournament before the end of the year so that we can classify our special athletes properly into different categories. They have different um, classifications for different players, wheelchair, you know, standing. Um, our physically challenged players have done very well for mm. us across every sport, yeah. and table tennis is no exception. So we're working with the national, um, the co national coaches to ensure that these players get classified properly mm. and then train hard. Hopefully, we'll bring in new, you know, uh, physically challenged t tables. They have a different set of tables. We're bringing some in for them to start training with, so that they can compete on the same level with their international counterparts. That's it. That's how it should be. Thank you so much once again for coming on Thank the you. program. And that's it. With that um, word from um, the president of the Table Tennis Federation, uh, we wrap up sports this morning on Channels Television. But remember, you can still keep talking to us on Twitter, we're Channels underscore Sports, and on Facebook, we're Channels Hyphen Sports. Table Tennis has given us so much reasons to talk sports today on Channels Television. But uh, as we leave you, just to let you know that um, you can be part of the action by just going down to Teslin Balogun Stadium. If you love table tennis, go there. Give them all the support. That's it. On behalf of the ever-winning sports team at Channels Television Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria, my name is Austin Okonakwa. We'll be back again to talk some more sports tonight, tomorrow. And for that, in everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports.